Hey folks, how are you? Joe here. We're with the new buddy Tosh. We got Cooper with us and Tosh is just going to park his truck. We're starting our trip here in North Bay and we're going to do the Mattawa River into the Ottawa River. It's like a two night trip. There's some uh, white water. Lots of Voyager history along this route. It's an old Voyager route. There's like a big like entrance to hell um, that the Voyagers used to be worried about. And lots of points, points of interest, so it should be a really great trip. Peak fall colors, brand new boat, new buddy, good times. It's not the most remote spot to, to put in for a canoe trip. There's cottages all along here. But this is the spot we needed to park the car at. We got my car is in Mattawa, two days away. And we just left Tosh's car here. So we'll be on to the more secluded river pretty soon. Looking forward to it. Are we in the wilderness? <laughs> so uh, I'm paddling my canoe, my solo canoe this trip it's, instead of a pack boat. I do have my double blade as you see, but I also have a single blade here for white water stuff so I can maneuver a little bit better. Um, I'm sitting on an actual canoe seat with no backrest and it, it adjusts uh, height. So we'll see. We'll see how this works for me. I've tried this once before with this boat in the summer and it didn't really work out too good for me. The reason I'm using uh, this boat is because I need to be able to maneuver in the white water. And with those pack boats, you just, you're sitting on the ground so it, it's hard to paddle with a single blade. Anyways, we'll see how it, uh, how it goes. There's portages around all the white water anyways. The, the plan is to, to, to run them. That's the whole uh, vibe of the trip but we'll see how it is when we get there. We've had a lot of rain lately and the water is high, which is a good thing because I'd rather have higher water than low water and bouncing on rocks. We just uh, pulled up to a little camp on the side for a little snack. And as we were sitting there, <laughs> we heard a bunch of splashing in the middle of the water here, looking over expecting a loon or something. There's a freaking fish jumping out of the water for a fish, for, for bait fish trying to feed. So anyways, just giving a little couple casts before we head back down the river. Beautiful day. Very, 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 very nice day. It's nice of you to mention that I, not to mention that I fell in. <laughs> we might have had an incident. <laughs> Are we lost, Mr. Tosh? I think so. <laughs> nice. Never been lost. I have. I was temporarily confused for a month or two, but I've never been lost. I've been straight lost. <laughs> <laughs> We're crossing through a, a little uh, narrow ways here, and like I said, there is a lot of history in the area. That We're coming up to a plaque over on Tosh's side, so let's go see what's that all, what that's all about. This is real pretty. Leaves falling into the water and everything. <laughs> Okay, so this is that portage that they opened up. Oh, okay. This was a historical portage for two. That the map says they, um, they, I guess, blasted this open or... I was gonna, doesn't it look man-made? There's all sorts of canals and channels. Yeah. Cool. So they blasted, this would have been a portage that they blasted open. Well, let's go read that. which over 200 years served European travelers as part of the first continental highway. La Tortu or Turtle Portage was the last carrying place on the Mattawa that was required at one time. The river here was shallow, rocky, and only wide enough for the passage of one canoe. Damn. Different that story. This would have been the final portage before like the Voyagers got past here and started 
you know, down to Nipissing and across the French. So much history. One of the 14 historic carrying places along the Mattawa used by Indians for centuries, and which for over 200 years served European travelers as part of the first transcontinental highway. La Tortue, or Turtle Portage, is the last carrying place on the Mattawa was required because at one time the river here was so shallow, rocky, and only wide enough was shallow, rocky, and only wide enough for one, the passage of one canoe. Le Portage, Portage de la Tortue. La Tortue! Alright, Tosh way up there. Tosh 2.0. Up there, freaking waiting for me. Paddling through a dream. Well, it's 2.30 now. We started probably around 9 or 10 in the morning, and uh, this is first our first portage we're coming up to, so I feel ready to get out of the boat for a little bit, stretch my legs. Stinks. <laughs> a little beavery. Yep. You're good. Like a glove. Got dry feet. <laughs> Makes one of us. <laughs> <sighs> All right. First lift over, accomplished. Here we go at the portage. I just noticed something up here. I don't know what it is. Man made. Looks old. Plaque. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. That's really weird. I don't even know how to say this in French. Pardon? I don't even know how to say what it's called. Oh, it's on the map? Yeah, Morbis Misty. Come on, put your heart into it. Yeah, that's about the best I can. <laughs> say it again? Yeah. My French is terrible, man. <laughs> Does it give a description? No, it just says it leads uphill to Pine Lake, 200 meters. <laughs> Perfect. It's got a name for it, but it doesn't tell anything about what that is. I didn't, I didn't get it back there. I couldn't quite hear you. What was the name? <laughs> good try. Coop. You good boy? What you got? Hey. Oh, he's got a big stick, a big boy. <laughs> he's happy. He wants to stretch his leg. Yeah, he does. U-V-A-I-S-E. Mauvais. Mauvais. M U S I Q U E. Move over music. I, see, I have no idea, dude. My, my last name's just Robinette. I'm not actually <laughs> French. <laughs> so, this canoe, unlike my other canoes, is a true canoe, a solo canoe, not a pack boat. Um, and if I'm going to single carry, my yoke is removable, right? but it goes right here. So if I'm going to single carry, my backpack is probably going to get maxed out on this seat. So, pop the seat off, move it down here to this, its other uh, ready location. You can sit down there and paddle that way, but I can also now portage where this is not going to impede, uh, my backpack's not going to impede the seat. Pretty cool little design. And the carbon fiber yoke just goes right on, just like the other ones. Or it's supposed to, at least. There we go. How's the water? He just 
like somersaulted. <laughs> Lovable dork. Check this out, guys. It's gonna come up past these trees. Where are you? Where are you, bud? Come on now, bud. There he goes. There he goes. Look at this thing. What? What? Pontoons and a wing? Yeah, it's like a flying raft. <laughs> Should make that a YouTube video. The flying raft. Look at that thing. Is it going all of about 12 miles an hour? <laughs> it looks like a giant hornet. <laughs> Crazy. All right, we got the Red Baron coming up out tailing him. See, that's a normal plane, not a pontoon with wings. All right, check it out. Route Voyager, Portage Pin de Musique, which we found out means <laughs> singing, pines. singing pines. pines, yes. The singing pines. <laughs> the singing pines. And it's 456 paces, so that's pretty awesome. This is part of that historic route, and um, here's one of the plaques that actually has words on it. So pretty much the same thing we were talking about earlier, but then this is new. This bottom part says, in the early 1900s, test pits were dug and borings made in the area around the portage, pin de musique, or singing pines in order to investigate the nature of the terrain through which the proposed Georgian Bay ship canal was to run. The canal, which was to follow the canoe route to Lake Huron, never materialized. Dun, dun, dun! Good boy, Cooper. Well, that wasn't so bad. I got my little water bottle here. I'm gonna. Oh, that's not for you. That's not for you. I'm gonna fill up. While I'm waiting. There it is. We got uh, another portage coming up here in about 20 minutes, half hour or so. Way too much. What? Weight in the bow. <laughs> Look, you got it's one like hand. <laughs> sinking on me here, Cooper. Loaded to the gills, bud. Hey. <laughs> Loaded to the gills. Oh, the bow just keeps falling down. Just beauty. Super peaceful. Absolute mirror reflection. He really does. Come Cooper, on, you're going to be alright, big guy. <laughs> I see land. Ooh. Little whirlpool thingy. Beauty. Beauty. I hear a dam. Yeah. Oh man, it's busy. Got some boats going by. So this is one of the camp spots that the First Nations and Voyagers would have used. We got it on the map. This is Matawa River, Grasswell Point. No chopping trees. I thought there was no pooping at first. I thought that tree was a coil of poo. No pooping and no littering. <laughs> no chopping the trees. But look at this camp. Talk about like flat ground. I have a hammock so it doesn't matter, but 
fire pit, big grassy area. This is so slick. This is so slick. I'm in love with this campsite. Tomorrow, we'll get onto the river proper and uh, there won't be all this boat traffic and stuff, but this is fine. We knew this coming in. This is, this is the trip. This is the trip. Isn't this awesome? Dude, it's like a park. <laughs> it's like a lawn. Wow. I wish I was sleeping on the ground. <laughs> I sure am. Yeah, I'll have to set up in here. There's a trail. I'll just set up right here. No worries. Cool. Oh, right by the privy. This is pretty, man. Over here. Cooper the Pooper. Oh, there's another site over here, man. This is another site. <laughs> Did you hear me? It's another site. Oh, this is nice, too. Not as, not as clean. <laughs> oh, there we go. Dinner tonight. That'll do nicely. Nature provides. Yeah, and then of course, easy access means you get stuff like this. Catch a fish, you know where we can clean it. I know enough to say stay away from that one. <laughs> There's actual mold behind. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool oh, man, I like this spot. <laughs> In any one of these awesome flat spots. Come on, buddy. We were just saying we never get to camp on. Nice grassy lawns like this, lawn like campsites like this, so we're definitely taking advantage of it. Super happy to be here. Nice day, but I am, I'm pooped. I stayed in a hotel last night, just so we could get an early start. You never sleep good in hotels, right? So I'm sure I will sleep much better in my hammock. Out here. How old is Cooper? Uh, he'll be three at Christmas. He's obviously Black Lab. Yeah. What, what um, I guess, but I, he's not like papered or anything. Right, right. Just on the right. smaller side. Yeah, he's the runt. He's never grew up. Perfect for canoe tripping, though, eh? Oh, yeah, he's like a great size in the boat. Mm -hmm. Big guy, where'd you come from? Happy dog? He's a hep, hep, happy, happy dog. No, that's my pillow. That's my pillow. He barely almost took my pillow. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of firewood laying around. No way. Eh? It's pretty picked over. Well, grassy point. <laughs> I'm going to go no, uh, no tarp tonight because it looks pretty pretty nice out and I don't think there's much in the forecast uh, in the way of rain. So let's get this up before we lose too much light. There was some people around the bend had a fire at another campsite near here and uh, they told us that we can use theirs if they'd like because they just left. So we just right around the corner from where we originally came. So we just Gonna come over here for a uh, fire and a nice sunset.
found a little bit of dry wood, but I found something pretty cool I want to show you that worth checking out anyway. I'm like 93% sure of what it is. All right. Hopefully I can find my way back to it. Maybe I'll be 7% sure. It <laughs> <laughs> won't be squared away. Hey, bud. Oh, I love the fall. Look at the leaves on the ground. Yeah. Smells like fall. Yeah, for sure. Is this, uh, I think this is, they call it chicken of the woods. That's what I was going to say when we were walking up to it. Yeah. But I really don't know. Like, it looks that style. Yeah. It's rubbery. Yeah, very rubbery. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Just pop, but, pop a little, just give it a little. <laughs> try a little bite. A little, little taster. A little dab will do yeah, you. Yeah, really, there's tons of it. The whole tree is covered. I don't know if something's been pecking at it. Pecking at it, climbing on it, whatever. It looks like but, almost pecked at, dude. Yeah, there's little holes in it, eh? Yeah, look. No, yeah, that's yeah, eating. Sure. That's eating. That's a good sign, though, eh? Yeah. Like if the animals are eating it, it squirrels and stuff. Yeah. I think it's fine. Probably add some to the sausages. <laughs> We're on our chicken of the woods tour. There's uh, another site over on this side of the. Are they, is this an island? What are we on the peninsula? It's the peninsula, yeah. But there's like four four campsites. I've seen three. Oh, this is very nice. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Pokey smoky, oh, buddy. Right. Got a guy fishing out there. Yeah, that's the musky fisherman. That is. Same boat, yeah. This is really nice, man. Yeah, this is a big site. This is probably This is probably one of the nicer yeah, ones. Bit of garbage in the fire pit, but gotta kind of expect that. Clothes line up and your choice of grills. Yeah. Careful the camera, bro! Hey, buddy. Oh, watch out. There you go. This is uh, going to be a very comfortable night. It's going to be only go down to 9, I think, and this is like a very warm setup, so I'm going to be super comfortable and happy. Tomorrow is our whitewater day. We're going to get off these lakes onto the river proper. I'm very excited about that. You guys gotta check out Tosh's channel, Tosh Self Propelled. Go we'll follow him on Instagram as well. Super solid dude. Good dog too. If you don't follow for him, follow for the dog. <laughs> All right, that's that's my setup for tonight. Happy with that. That is a pretty awesome looking sky. Isn't there. it? And it's lasting for a, a good minute too. Yeah. Yeah. You said these are boar meat. Wild boar, yeah. Wild boar. Not to be confused with that domesticated. <laughs> <laughs> Damn domesticated boar. <laughs> sure. I like my boar blackened. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is the place for you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make a tea. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to make spaghetti or something. Yeah, I was, I was but yeah, I don't know if I... I don't <laughs> it's know like I, 8 o'clock. I know, I don't know if I need it now. Alright, we got some snow sausages on, bison sausages. Courtesy of Tosh, thank you. All good, man. Enjoy. Not only does he hook it up with the meat stick, he's got the condiments to go with it. What a guy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a good piece of dry maple there. <laughs> the wild pig. Mm. That was very good. A little on the warm side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> Such a mooch. Mm. We've had enough. Stars are coming out. We had a really nice sunset. Good food. Awesome campsite. Good company. This is a really good trip already. 
Only day one. Mm -hmm. Shape it up. See how the rapids go tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Super excited for that. Um, I'm going to have to follow your lead a little bit. <laughs> That's all good. Yep. We'll figure it out when we get there. There's a, there's a really cool spot that the voyagers thought was like the entrance to hell. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is it? An ochre mine. Big hole in the rock with ochre, the red ochre coming out of it. All in the rocks, it looks like whatever red, whatever they wanted to interpret to, interpret red to mean. But anyways, they thought it was like the entrance to hell. So there's this big sign there now, too. We'll go check that out and everything. So that's actually one of the highlights I'm looking forward to. There's so much history on this river. Like, mm -hmm. Everywhere you turn. Yeah, this, ex this exact spot was used, they said, by natives and by voyagers. Yeah, originally this was like a rendezvous area for the local indigenous people, and then later used by the voyagers for the same thing. Hell yeah. Which is awesome. Retracing the steps all the way out to the Ottawa River, Ugh. where where they join up. That's where I left my. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> where I left my truck. So very cool, very historic. Hopefully, uh, we don't hear any Voyager songs from the from the dark. <laughs> <tonight>. Yeah, from <laughs> the dark. <laughs> I don't have a clue what you just said. <laughs> I don't either. It wasn't words. It was just, those weren't words, man. <laughs> it could have been French, man. You could be lying to me. I don't know. All right, folks. Well, it's night one, bedtime. Climbing the old bear burrito. We call it good. Good morning. Slept real well. Sun's coming out, as you can see. It's about 8 o'clock, so it's time to get up. Man, I don't know, man. It must have been so much dew last night, and then dew catching on the leaves and dripping, because it seemed like it was raining, but I know it wasn't. Let's go see Otosh, Ferret, and Cooper. Morning. Morning, boys. Man, did you get dripped on a whole lot? Um, a little bit. It dripped on a bit, and it sounded like it was raining all night. It sure did, didn't it? Yeah. I kept, I woke up a bunch of times thinking, like, it's starting to rain, <laughs> and then I'm feeling all around everywhere. And right, dry. dude. I think it was dew and the leaves yeah. falling. Make yeah. a boy. Oh, dude. <laughs> Good morning. Go check out the sunrise. Oh. <laughs> I'm late to the sunrise, I guess. So you can access this spot with a motorboat. That's why there's all that type of stuff there. But anyways, really, really, really nice spot otherwise. So he's got a bunch of, obviously, river trips from Ontario and Quebec here. And we are on page 30, I believe? 53, 53 it is. 53. So, this is our route right here in the Madawa River. We started on Trout Lake. We wanted to start up here, but we had to end up starting uh, around the bend here. No, around the bend here and coming up. So we parked here, came up. Did all this stuff. Went this way. There's two ways you can go. This is the original Voyager way. We went this way and camped here. So that, that equals up to the same spot here on Talon Lake. And then we're going to just paddle up. There's a dam here. There's the first two sets of moving water that we can run. And then there is the Gates of Hell. Port de l'Enfer. Port de l'Enfer. I think I'm saying that right. Port de l'Enfer. Gates of Hell. So we'll check that out, run those, and then we're going to camp probably somewhere in here. So we don't have a too big of a distance today, but we're going to play around in the rapids and stuff, and then tomorrow is up and out in Madawa. So shout out Kevin Callen. He's got a bunch of books. If you're interested in canoeing, if you're interested in trying to find places to canoe, um, yeah, Kevin Callen's a man. I don't want to start it yet. 
Check that out, a waterfall coming down the vertical rock. There's been a couple so far. Really pretty area, feels real ancient. Oh, you can see the silt coming in, the, the dirt and silt, minerals probably too, coming in from the rock right into the water. You see that? It's bringing all silt and minerals and everything into the water. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh huh. No, well, ne neither of us think it looks like a, a watchdog, but Tosh said it kind of looked like a pig from that side, so we've coined it the watch hog now. No respect to the voyagers, <laughs> just <laughs> usurping their things. So this is where uh, the voyageurs would get rid of their polling poles, apparently. De charge de perche. De charge de perche. Tosh is going to give us a history rundown. <laughs> so it says uh, they discharge their poles used to push the canoes up the shallow rapids. 1793, John McDonald, a Northwest Company clerk, remarked that the men performed the ceremony of throwing away the poles with a loud huzzah. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> Downstream we go, boys. <laughs> 157 paces? Not for us. It's uh, Tosh scouted it. It's, it's real tame. Just some swifts and moving water or whatever. So we'll head down that way and then uh, look for the next one. Definitely going down with <laughs>
pretty tame, but still fun. That was one of the longer ones I've done, I think. It was like a rock. Uh, yep, at the end. Up. Yeah. We're coming up to a, another set of rapids. We're going to go scout the portage just beforehand before we run it. Make sure there's no sweepers or anything that we don't know. We've never been here before. Some of these trees are almost bare already. Crazy. Losing time quickly. It's always a bittersweet time of year for me. No, not with the weight in the front, it ain't good. No. no. That was a little dicey in the front. I, I moved the the backpack to the front just because to see if the weight was better in the front for steering, but and through the rapids, but it's not. So I'm gonna switch it back over. But anyways, we got through it. Okay. Right in front of those colors there's a big waterfall roughly 20 feet we think so there's a bigger uh, waterfall sign here with a portage so we're gonna port this one it's hot it's hot and it's October That out. That's the waterfall, man. Check it out. That is a decent waterfall, boys and girls. Wow. I'm getting wet from back here just from the mist.
refreshing. I'm getting like cool mist on me right now. This is awesome. Talk about a cool mist. Refreshing and beautiful. So gorgeous. Eh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's on point, dude. Yeah. The sun's in the right spot and everything. I think we could run that one. Woo! Highlight of the trip so far for me. Well, folks, we have found Hades. Port de l'Enfer. This is where the voyagers were very uh what's the word superstitious superstitious and they thought that this because of all the red stains from the rock the iron in the rock that the uh that these were the gates to hell i'm gonna go in and see yeah i believe that there was a um a demon that lived in here Stained rocks was the blood of all his victims. Oh my gosh. Don't claim me, bro. The natives use this as an ochre mine for the Yes. This is a uh, tie the boat up and leave it in the water type thing. Many. Many weird tales were told by the Indians about this cave known as Port de l'Enfer, Hell's Gate, according to a story related by Daniel Harmon, a clerk of the Northwest Company, who passed here in May 1800. A large animal remains in it, which they call a man-eater, and which devours those who have the presumption to approach the entrance of the solitary dwelling. The deep, narrow ravine, dark rocks, and swirling water, water did nothing to discourage such tales. <laughs> Should we do a little tobacco offering? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, good call. All right, well, it's kind of steep. I'm going to do our best Billy Goat impression and get on up there. It's a very steep little climb here. I'm trying to get me up there. That was tradition for the boy in here. To leave. To throw rocks at people. <laughs> <laughs> it was tradition for them to leave a little bit of tobacco to appease them, so... We bought, brought along a little tobacco of our own. Nice. The traditional thing. Wow. Oh, it stops right here. So yeah, the, the natives would come in here, like Tasha was saying, to get the ochre or whatever iron, uh, iron thing that makes it red so that they could do their pictographs and stuff. Yeah, they mine ochre in here. It's a legit cave. Yeah. <laughs> Cooper whimpering he got left in the boat down there. <laughs> Stay. All right. Everything's kind of loose. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Trying to Can we hold that? Semi-flat to stand on here. <laughs> Can we hold that for you? Take a little handful of tobacco here, and there's nothing saying where we're supposed to put it, so we'll just. Oh, so I don't fall out of the cave, we'll just leave a little, a little sprinkle on the cave there. Nice. It smells very, very good. Yeah, it's dramatic. <laughs> now we're good. Yeah, we should be good to finish the rest of the river. 
Port of Denver. Oh, it's nice and cool. Very cool back here. We're hiking up. Higher and higher up. My little... Uh huh. Look at how clear that is. Oh man. Right? There's probably a spring right there actually. Try this one with the double blade. I just I think I feel more confident in turning the boat with it. I'm just gonna follow Tosh's line. little bit of water on on that one so we're gonna pull up here and uh, empty the boat out been hanging out here sitting in the shade it's really sunny out there it's nice in the shade here got to get some firewood Tosh's already got some I brought my egg with saw this time Tonight, no tarp again tonight. Oh, risque. Yeah, I think I read that too. I wonder how far it is tomorrow. Um, well, supper's done. It's about 10 o'clock now. Fire's just dying out. And I'm about getting ready to go to bed. You can't see it, but the stars are... You don't care because you can't see it. There you are. There's a star. One star for you. bottom of this pancake. Let's see. Oh no! Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a taco. It looks perfect otherwise. Yeah. Darn it! A little, little quesadilla. Put some syrup on my fish crisp. <laughs> Dress it up a touch. <laughs> well, this pan's still hot even through this piece of garbage. Imagine that. Wish me luck, boys and girls. The pound All right, last rapid of the trip. 
Gonna run it. The old Voyager route portage. After this, we got some flat water, about 10 clicks to the cars, I think. This is not the boat for that, and that was slick. Best one yet. I was actually able to put it where I needed to and everything. I was happy with that one. Nice. Best one yet. Yeah, I was back paddling with this and like just put, yeah. Yeah, I was happy. That was a good one to end it on because it was exactly the last one, dude. I was kind of sketched out if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, like those waves weren't, weren't tiny. No, no. No, especially in that boat, like you don't have a whole lot of clearance. That's right. So did you take on No, it? nothing. Bare, like a, a, barely anything. Yeah. Happy. Crazy little rock garden here with a bunch of lichen. Such a pretty area. Reflection, man. dam and uh, we got to put in here in this little fast current part buddy. Slip. 
Well, good news, we've seen the truck. So that's always a load off my mind. I'm gonna pull up here and be done the trip. I'm gonna finish it off with some spectacles. Finish it off with some spectacular color colors. And maybe a burger. So be sure to go check out Tosh's channel, Tosh Self Propelled. Check out his Instagram as well. We had a lot of fun on this trip. Thanks for inviting me. Coming along, Joe. No worries. It was a good trip. All right. I'm sure you guys will see us together again sometime. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.